Hi, this is Ken Quinn, Regional Director with U.S. Term Limits. In this segment of Exposing the Myth of the Runaway Convention, we are going to dispel the false claim made by opponents of the Article 5 Convention, which is that the only precedent we have for such a convention is the Philadelphia Convention of 1787. Our country has a long, rich history of conventions among the colonies and the states to address specific issues, ranging from Indian negotiations, war supply, defense, and economic issues. Constitutional scholar Professor Rob Nadelson has done exceptional research in identifying many of these conventions, discovering close to 40 that have been held, 20 of these being held prior to our independence and 18 after, with eight of those being held after the ratification of the Constitution. To claim that the Philadelphia Convention is the only convention that has been held among the states is simply false. In our previous podcast, we learned how the Articles of Confederation were inadequate, and attempts were made in Congress to amend them, but they all failed being unable to achieve unanimous consent in Congress. The only option left was for the states to take action, which is exactly what Virginia did on January 21, 1786 by calling the Annapolis Convention. The purpose of the convention was limited to only trade and commerce issues. On September 11, 1786, commissioners from the states of New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, and Virginia met in Annapolis, Maryland. The report details how the commissioners produced their credentials upon arriving at the convention. Now, this is critical to understanding how conventions function. The credentials or commissions expressly state the authority given to the commissioners from their state legislatures. Conventions operate under what is known as agency law, where the agent or commissioner is acting on behalf of their principal, in this case, the state legislature. After reviewing each state's delegated powers, they determined that New York, Pennsylvania, and Virginia had authority to proceed according to the stated purpose of the convention. Delaware provided similar powers, with the only exception of requiring Congress to also agree to any act that is approved by the convention. New Jersey enlarged their authority to include, quote, other important matters, unquote. Realizing that the convention could only address the issue of trade and commerce, and with minimal representation from the states, the convention issued their report on September 14th. The commissioners realized that New Jersey was onto something and that other critical issues needed to be addressed. Quote, In this persuasion, your commissioners submit an opinion that the idea of extending the powers of their deputies to other objects than those of commerce, which has been adopted by the state of New Jersey, was an improvement on the original plan and will deserve to be incorporated into that of a future convention. Unquote. The report ends with its official recommendation to the states, quote, the appointment of commissioners to meet at Philadelphia on the second Monday in May next to take into consideration the situation of the United States, to devise such further provisions as shall appear to them necessary to render the constitution of the federal government adequate to the exigencies of the union, unquote. The path to a new constitution was laid out for the states in Annapolis and they would soon set off on that course. Keep on rocking in the free world.